All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. I'm going to start a little presentation here. Um, we're going to be making something kind of like this. In fact, we're going to be making exactly this using some awesome rampant design elements. My name is Casey Ferris. If you don't know me, um, I'm a colorist and motion graphics designer out in Oregon. And uh, I work for a show called Graveyard Cars. And so this is our opening bumper. So this goes right before our commercials. And so that everyone knows that that's what you're watching uh, anytime that we go to a commercial, they're reminded that that's how it's going down. So there's a few different things going on here, and I'm just going to walk you through my comp in After Effects. So let's jump into After Effects. And the very first thing we're going to start with is just the logo. This is a render right from Element 3D. It's just, I think it's a TIFF sequence. It doesn't matter. Um, but I have some textures just laid over this just to add some more grunge to it. And uh, that's pretty much just in its own comp. And then we have, let's see, let's grab that here. So there's our logo. And uh, we want to spice things up a little bit. So I'm going to put some grungy stuff in the background. This is just a grunge texture. And I mean, it looks awesome. We're just going to, we're just going to call that good. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm just kidding. So. <clears throat> So let's take a look at how this looks. It's just our grungy logo over our grungy background. And you'll notice it's shaking a little bit. This isn't a wiggle expression. This is actually tracked real camera shake, uh, tracked in mocha, and applied to a solid. And everything's parented to that solid so that we get some nice, organic, mm, tasty feeling. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. Um, you might call me that guy, but I love stuff like shaky cameras and, and you know, the orange and teal and lens flares. You just, you can call me that guy all you want. It looks good. I don't care. All right. So uh, there we have the logo over the grungy background. I have a little kicker thing on the logo, which you can't see, but it's basically a fake light that lights the back of this logo. So that's like the main, I guess, uh, foundation of our comp. But now we need to add some style. Now, if you've ever watched Graveyard Cars, uh, you would know that it's, it's a show about restoring muscle cars, taking dead muscle cars, and bringing them back to life. And so all of our graphics and our designs and everything kind of have this horror movie, mad scientist, like uh, uh, Frankenstein type of feel. And so that's kind of what I was going for here. Is it's almost like it's in Frankenstein's lab, and you know they're kind of building these letters, I guess. Um, so, of course, any lab is pretty dusty. And so what I'm going to do is add some rampant 4K dust. And it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm just going to boost the, uh, the exposure here. And here we have some real dust. And uh, that is just a QuickTime file that's laid over everything with a screen transparency. And I have a few of those just laid over and offset in 3D space. And so that when the camera moves, you kind of get some, some nice, uh, some nice uh, what do you call it? Parallax. That's what I'm saying. So um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the obvious big thing that's happening here, let's go here, is the sparks. Now, you might say, Casey, you are amazing with trap code particular. And I'm not going to argue that. I'm, I'm basically amazing at trap code particular. However, these are actual real sparks. And so uh, this is just, again, it's just a quick time element. Uh, this is the rampant sparks. And it's just shooting. Let's see if we can just look at those. It's just shooting off the side there. We'll just take a look. Yeah, that looks nice. And so. This is just laid over again with, I think it's an ad transparency. And you'll see that some of the sparks are kind of bouncing off of where the letters would be if I had them actually on. There we go. It kind of looks like they're bouncing off of the letters. But it is a lie, Stephen. They are not. Actually, what I did was I took this same element and I rotated around and made a mask. And so it's, it comes in this way, and then it shoots that way just like a second later. So it looks like in pretend land that it's bouncing off the letters, but it's not. 
So you don't have to do any crazy like 3D collisions or anything to really sync your elements into your comp. You can do just easy little things like that. It took like two seconds to make that work. And so I have sparks coming from this way. And then down here, I have sparks coming from the other way, which I should turn everything off again. Yeah, so sparks coming in this way. So I have sparks, sparks. Looks pretty good. Uh, I also have some rampant distortion streams here, which I'll just solo those and bring this up. Everything's kind of like turned down because it's all kind of supposed to mesh together. But to see the original element, I have to kind of boost it a little bit. And so uh, these are just like TV glitch effects. One thing that we do for our show is it's almost like it's a pirate broadcast thing. Like you're just, you just kind of happen to pick up this transmission during the zombie apocalypse where people are restoring cars. Anywho, it's pretty awesome. And uh, so, so basically everything that we do has uh, TV glitch effects or fuzz or snow or whatever it is. And so we have this going through it to kind of keep with that theme. And again, it's just QuickTime movies that are put on there with transfer modes. Super easy. Not taxing on the uh, processor or anything like a 3D plugin would be or anything like that. So that looks pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to call that good for that comp. But that is put inside of yet another comp. It's, it's compception. Compcep how do you say that? I'm not going to say that again. That sounds weird. Anywho, so uh, we have that going on. That's pretty sweet. But now I want to add even more crazy glitchy stuff. And so I'm going to put some glitches over it. I'm going to try and pick the right one here. Eh, I'll just turn everything on. So at the very beginning, this kind of glitches in. And this is some of the some more rampant uh, analog distortion. So by itself, uh, where is it? Yeah, by itself, it pretty much looks like that. Already looks awesome. You could just put that over with an add transparency, which I did for part of it. But for other parts of it, I duplicated this logo. Let's see if we can grab that. Here we go. Nope. Where is it? There. For parts of this, I just duplicated that comp and used this TV noise as a luma mat. And so it's just taking all of the light pixels and it's showing that comp under it. And so it really kind of gives more character to this, this element. Instead of just lightening some of the pixels, it actually changes the way all those little light parts of it look. And so now we're in crazy mode, so I'm going to turn that off. And so each time these glitch effects come in, it not only flashes in with some of the glitch things, but it also kind of offsets the image. Now, I, I employed a very, very advanced technique that's absolutely going to blow your mind for this one. I duplicated the comp and moved it over. Um, yeah, and I turned it on under the glitch. So basically, I have this with just some glitch stuff over it, and it ends up looking really awesome. And then, of course, over everything, I have a vignette because that's what you do. And uh, let's see. Let's go to our finished thing here, make sure I have everything turned on. I think I do. All right, so now we're at our very final comp, where we have comps on comps on comps on comps. It's a rough life. So there's our original comp. And then we also have our uh, Skull and Crossbones logo, kind of branding our show a little bit. I'll show it to you. Don't worry. So yeah, this is kind of our yeah, just cool-looking pirate-ish logo. And so that any time somebody looks at a pirate flag, they won't think pirates. They'll think graveyard cars, which is which is really the goal of life. I mean, if anything, if anything can replace pirates, I'm hoping, hoping it's something I make. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much our whole comp. It's, it looks complicated, and there's lots of layers, but it's actually pretty simple. It's just a bunch of stuff laid over each other with different uh, transfer modes. And it ends up looking pretty sweet. So yeah, that's our bumper for our show. And I do have one other piece of goodness to show you here. Um, in addition to working on this show for my day job, I also started a company recently called Ground Control, 
We do uh, custom color grading LUTs for different cameras. We have packs for GoPro, for Blackmagic, uh, for GH4, for Canon. Uh, and we also have a bunch of just generic LUTs that help stylize your footage. And so uh, I was recently making a little ad for this and ended up making a bumper using a bunch of rampant stuff. So I'm going to show you that. This one is much, much simpler. It's only seven layers. Uh, and sometimes that's all you need. You know, why do you think, uh, why do you think Taco, Taco Bell's done so well? I mean, they have the seven layer burrito. Like, that's the key to their success, if you ask me. So yeah, uh, let's, let's bring this up a little bigger so we can look at it. Actually, I'm going to show you the, the finished product here. So yeah, this is a little bumper. It's going to go at the end of some of our ads. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to do is kind of when somebody looked at this logo so that they think, oh, if I want to make something look filmic or more like what everyone thinks of as filmic, I should look at ground control. And it's kind of one of those things that almost subliminally says, yeah, we do something with filmic stuff. So perfect thing to use for that is some of the rampant film clutter. And so I'll show you how I made that comp. We're going to start out with the logo. That's a good place to start. And I'm going to throw a background on this. And this is just the rampant 4K real clutter. And so I'll show you what that looks like by itself. This, again, is just a quick time movie of film whizzing by. So it looks pretty sweet by itself. Put the logo in front of it. We got some good stuff going on. But we are not done. Of course, I want to uh, put a little vignette under that so it almost looks like these, this logo is kind of lighting up the, the comp here. So that looks good. I could probably just stop there. I mean, it looks, looks cool enough. But one thing I want to do is add a little bit more texture, more style to this, because the background's all filmy and beautiful, but the foreground, there's nothing going on. It's like perfect white, clean letters. And uh, for me, that just that doesn't fly. I'm sorry. So I'm going to put some more real clutter over the top of it, and I'll show you guys something. This is just one of the uh, this is one of the film clutter just raw files here. And you'll notice that I have this zoomed in. The thing is, I actually don't. This is a 1080p comp, and all of these elements are 4K. And so if I want to use a different part of this, I can just move it around, and I don't lose resolution. It's pretty awesome. And because this is just a regular QuickTime file, I can just multiply this on top. And boom, I get some of that awesome grunge on top of this, which is pretty sweet. And so it kind of brings everything together. Anytime I make a comp, I really try and bring everything together to make it look like it all belongs there. Because if you just slap stuff on top, people will look at it, and they'll go, you know, you just slap that on top. OK, that's an unpro move. So that looks awesome. And what I want to do is maybe give this a little bit of color correction. And so what I'm going to do is put a LUT on top. Where's the LUT from? Oh, thank you for asking. It's from our Ground Control Titan pack, which is a pack designed specifically for GH4. So if you have a GH4, uh, you basically need to get this pack. It's the best. But this is a 709 version, which means that you can put it over just about any type of footage, including motion graphics, and it will give it some style. And you know, there's a few different things going on in that LUT that I don't feel like taking time to do right now. So I just threw a LUT on it, and it looks awesome. So that's sweet. And I also have a glow that I want to put on top of this. And this isn't just a regular glow. Your head is probably going to fall off when I show you what this glow is. Let's just open the effect controls. It's a glow, but the glow radius, let's twirl this down here, has an expression on it. And if you're scared of expressions, don't be scared. This is an easy one. It's just random 40. And what that means is that every frame, this is going to pick a number between 0 and 40, and it's going to set that to the glow radius, which means that when this, oh no, I have ruined everything. I ruined it again. What has happened? OK. Well, it's gone crazy. <laughs> OK. 
I've done this before. Sweet. So yeah, so every frame it's just going to pick a random value and assign it to that. So it kind of almost looks like motion blur, like stuff's whizzing by and uh, you can't even keep up with it. So that's pretty sweet. So there's my glow and we are almost done. One thing I want to add is something in the foreground just to give it a little bit more style on top of it. And what I'm going to use is a flare. And let's turn this off right here. This is flare music. So we have the flare over this, which looks awesome. Again, I'm, in, I'm into flares. You can call me that guy. I think they look cool. So yeah, it gives it a nice little style there. The unfortunate part, that's the unfortunate part music. The unfortunate part is that it looks like Need for Speed right now. It looks like the cops are coming and all we hear is woot, woot, woot. No thanks. So what I'm going to do is add some hue saturation to this and just shift the hue over to this golden color. And now we have a nice kind of yellow and teal or orange and teal type of thing here. So yeah, again, let's look at what we made. There we go. Nice looking little bumper here. And that's just with seven layers. And yeah, so that's how you can stylize your motion graphics with these rampant design tools. Pretty awesome. Definitely check them out. Um, if you're interested in ground control, uh, absolutely come and talk to me. I'd love to talk to you.